This life is part of the soul curriculum of choice. We are here to make choices and to make them correctly. In 2 Corinthians 5 verse 9, it says, Cheerfully pleasing God is the main thing. That's what we aim to do, regardless of our conditions. Eleanor Roosevelt said this, In the long run, we shape our lives, and we shape ourselves, and the choices we make are ultimately our responsibility. Well, this is very important, our responsibility. It is our responsibility of our soul to make the right choices, and it is uh, one of the doctrines, I suppose, of this ministry, and that is personal responsibility. From the minute you wake up in the morning till the minute you nod off at night in sleep, you make lots of decisions. Decisions about the things you do. Decisions about the words that you speak. And decisions about the thoughts that you choose to entertain. That's a big one, isn't it? The decisions about the thoughts that you choose to entertain during the day. It can make your life a heaven or a hell with that choice alone. Simply put, your life is a series of choices, and the choices you determine to make, it guides the direction and the quality of your entire life. If you sincerely want to lead a life that is pleasing to God, make daily moment-to-moment -moment choices that are pleasing to God. And that means just the basics. Positive thinking about yourself and about others, about your life, about choosing love instead of hate, about following the guidelines of the Bible and expressing those in moment-to-moment -moment living. You think carefully and prayerfully about the choices that you make. And when in doubt, you don't make a move until you've talked things over with God. And that's an important thing. I've been riled up before. I've wanted to tell them a certain thing or two before. I've learned to step back in that moment. Don't make a move until you've talked things over with God. And if you still have that mood afterwards, talk things over with God more. And when you do, you'll make the right choice. You will. I believe in you, and I pray that you will make the right choices, moment by moment, day by day. I pray that your life will become a heaven, not a hell. And I pray that every part of your life will be blessed because of the choices you have decided to make and to carry in your mind. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.